What's up guys, it's Rachel with Bubbly Balloon Co. You might notice I don't look as translucent as I usually do, and that's because I got a little bit of a tan from my week in Florida. I figured I'd show you a few of the highlights of my trip and show you one beautiful creation in particular, this gorgeous black 25 foot garland that I made that had glow in the dark paint on it, which unfortunately I don't have enough footage to do a full how to on, but I'm definitely gonna show you what I have in this video, the before, the after, the during, whatever I got, you're gonna see it. Now I'm packing here for two big balloon jobs for a week-long trip that's almost a thousand miles away from home. So I have to be smart and bring anything I could possibly need with me here. It was a little nerve-wracking. Now I'm normally pretty prepared and organized. I do always have a checklist of what to bring. And if you watch my video on how I organize my balloon stock, you might recognize these little bins. And in this case, I put all the specialty and foil balloons for each of these jobs in its own bin as they came in the mail so that it was all organized and ready to go when I needed it. So I've got my foils in the bins, I've got my latex balloons here in the cardboard boxes, and I have got everything I need here. I gotta bring my llama, my business cards, and I still have to pack my suitcase with everything I could need to inflate, assemble, and hang these garlands. So I'm all packed up and ready to go. I think my camera died while I was filming me packing, so I'm so sorry to cut you short on that, but I promise it is chock full of goodness in here. So I have a box for every job. They are just full and full and full of stuff. I technically am only doing two jobs while I'm in Florida, um, but one of them is almost 100 feet of garland, which is just massive. So this is well over a thousand neon balloons and everything I need for the neon install. Then for the huge garland we're doing at the entrance to that party, all of that is in this box, all my specialty balloons, all my latex, balloons all that stuff's in there then over here is the technically the second uh install i'm doing which again all my specialties are here all my latex are here guys it's literally like like jam-packed full of everything like anyway this is no joke this is gonna be one hell of a weekend for me um and here's as always my suitcase is just full of everything i could need for setting up assembling it's just got a, a million different ways to inflate attach assemble it's all in here. This is my baby. Um, I'll be my tripod so I can try and get some of this on film for you guys. My backpack so I can sketch stuff out if I need to. iPad, notebook, sometimes I just gotta draw it out. So uh, my chargers, everything obviously in here. And just so many balloons. Uh, my hampers, my garbage bags, everything that I use to kind of organize uh, my inflated balloons and keep them in one place and together. And then I'm gonna try and bring this pastel garland as well because I'm staying with one of my best friends. She has a little daughter and I thought it'd be cute to surprise her with this cute little rainbow garland in her room. So hey, if I can fit all this in my car with my, my suitcase full of clothes and my ladder, everything else, like, yo, that's why I have an SUV though, right? And now it's time to actually pack the car. And these sweet boys would not get out of the car. They did not want mommy to leave without them. And I honestly couldn't even get them out of the car. We had to put them inside. <laughs> And my very sweet husband loaded all my supplies in the car for me. Chivalry is not dead, ladies and gentlemen. This man is a keeper. We did manage to fit this beautiful pastel garland in, and I did surprise my friend's daughter with it. It was very sweet. It's the day of, here we go. they would be destroyed in the heat and humidity by party time. So I was so kindly set up in the child's playroom and I'm going to be inflating all of these balloons, all my gear, all my hampers, everything is here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, it's so freaking cute. I just got set up on the floor over here. That was kind of my home for a couple of days to just inflate, inflate, inflate in that one spot. You might recognize it from the other videos I did. And here I've laid out all the different sizes of black balloons that I'll be using. I used 5 inch, 9 inch, 11, 16, 24, and 36 for this one. 
now in terms of building out this garland, I just did quad by quad. I, I pretty much worked in little clusters of four and I tied them together with black 260s and I would just inflate balloons, make a quad and attach it to the garland and keep going. So with this garland, it was much larger at the base and then it got skinnier and skinnier as it went towards the top and the tip. So you'll notice that at the base of the garland, I used a lot of 17s and 24s, 36s. And then as we went up, I used smaller and smaller balloons and then it just really tapered off at the end at the top there. Inflating all the specialty balloons I had for this one, I was working with black orbs, both large and small. All those neon balloons you see there were for the glow in the dark garland I did for this party, and you can check that video out separately if you're interested in how that turned out. Blowing up these black foil cone starburst balloons was a little bit challenging, but it actually got pretty easy once you get the hang of it. If an in-depth tutorial specifically on those starburst balloons would be interesting to you, let me know in the comments, I'd be happy to do that. Okay, so sadly I couldn't film everything all at once. So this was the inside of the tent where we were doing the black light glow in the dark balloon setup. And if you look to the very right of your screen, that's me setting up the entrance garland there, this beautiful black garland on the far right. And sadly that is all the footage we have of it being assembled. But you can see I'm setting up the top of the garland and then I go back out with different chunks to build out the side and the base. Okay guys, the entrance garland is coming along here. It is about 300 degrees here in Tampa Bay. The balloons are dying, like so many are popping from the heat. It's insane. I'm trying to let the sun go down as much as possible, but we're about two hours away from the party starting. We still have to paint these bad boys with glow in the dark paint. So I am having to hustle. Wish me luck. So this is how the balloons are looking right now. I still have to add in my specialties, my foils, kind of, you know, build it out a little bit more. And then we're gonna go through and paint with glow in the dark paint. And then the lighting guy is setting up black lights here as well. So here's how it looks now that I've added all the foil balloons in. I've added the orbs, the starbursts, and one of the party planner's assistants is now painting it with glow in the dark paint. This was what the final shape looked like, but you can see that these oxidized in seconds in this Florida heat. I'm not kidding you, within a couple of minutes, these were fully oxidized. And there she is painting all these balloons with that glow in the dark paint. We really struggled with the balance of putting the balloons out late enough that they weren't totally sun damaged and just dead from all the heat and humidity, and getting the balloons painted early enough so that it could absorb enough sunlight to be glow in the dark when, the, when night came. This is what it looked like in the end. That is that day glow, beautiful look there. And that is what it looked like at night. You can see it shines most where it has a black line on it, but I think if we had let it absorb a little more sunlight during the day, we probably would have got a brighter shine out of it at night too. And in case you're wondering, this is what the inside of that glow in the dark party looked like. How incredible was this setup? I'm really happy with how this party turned out. You know, we had some challenges with it. Uh, a couple times we weren't sure how it was gonna go, but in the end, it really came together and it looked fantastic. Yeah, I did it. I got So I'm still recovering from a knee injury and sadly I wasn't up to walking the entire park. So I uh, got one of these rent-a-scooter things and I gotta say, I'm a little bit hooked. This was living the life at a theme park. Uh, this guy in front of the mummy ride came to uh, kill me. That was fun. <laughs> Going through the Diagon Alley portion of Universal Studios is just amazing. Is that the, the train overhead, I think? Listen, I, homie, that's the train overhead. Oh, wow, I never know. Making the most of my day at Universal Studios. We're in Diagon Alley. Got a uh, lemon blueberry crepe. So good. Showing you once wasn't enough. This crepe was absolutely everything. If you're going to Universal, get it. And 
And to summarize my trip with my friends in a few pictures, here it was. And we got to see this fantastic production of The Three Brothers over in Diagon Alley. We were in the very front row. It was so lovely. These actors were fantastic. And one of my dogs is named after one of the three brothers, so I had a great time at this. I'm not even kidding you, from the two days of driving, from the day in the tent, doing that full long day of the glow in the dark black light setup that I did, uh, a day at the theme parks, even though I'm a sunscreen and glasses and hat and canopy, like I was covered. Somehow, girls, I turned into like a lobster, like it was so bad. I actually broke out in like hives and stuff on my hands and my face. Um, I got some sun poisoning. It looks like I might have developed a sun allergy, so. That's cool, literally born and raised in Florida, been away for three months, and uh, go back for a few days and that's what I get. So, <laughs> my pale ass got burnt. But anyway, I thought I'd share some of the more fun aspects of the trip with you guys. I did have a blast, it was great to catch up with my friends, great to go back to Universal, like, ooh, I'm a Harry Potter freak. So, it was great to go back to the motherland. Thanks for watching, I hope you had a little bit of fun, enjoyed the behind the scenes look at how I made that beautiful black garland and my adventures in Florida. If you want to see more balloon creations, I have a ton of them on my channel. Go ahead and subscribe, go check them out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.